I'm excited because you're in this new JLo film. This is me now. What was it about the movie that really drew you to it? Well, of course, because it's Jennifer Lopez. Hello. <laughs> She's been a huge icon of mine for a really long time. I'm, I am from New York and I am Puerto Rican as well. So, you know, just seeing her trailblaze through the entertainment business was just a reason in itself, right? So when I got the opportunity, I was just like, oh my God, this can't be real. And this was such a pinch me moment. So um, I think that, yeah, pretty much that. And um, I got to play a really cool role, which was fun. Uh, I play the fighter. So she's very snappy. She's very a girl's girl. She has JLo's back throughout the whole movie, you know, left and right. I'm like, no, don't go with that guy. Go with that guy. I don't think he's going to last. So, um, which is very similar to me. So. <laughs> Well, how was your character then described to you originally? Obviously, you mentioned she's a fighter. Yeah, so we had very, like, it was really cool. Um, all five actors uh, that got cast were very um, kind of stereotypical personalities, which was cool. And then once we took the role on as, uh, as an actor, it kind of became very more um, diverse. Um for example, my role was the fighter. So you would think kind of I come in there and I'm just trying to fight with everybody. But uh, definitely my role transformed into kind of just being like, you know, she loves really hard, sometimes a little too hard. And uh, I'm definitely always the one there to defend my friend. And um, I think that was that's what drew me, because I feel like in in life, in some aspects, I'm, I'm like that myself. So, um, yeah, that's what I would say. Was there anything you found particularly challenging about her? Maybe a physicality to this role? Um, you know, I feel like as an actor, sometimes when things are so close to you, you kind of get this whole little roadblock kind of thing. And she's so close to me. I mean, they wanted a New York accent. They wanted a New York girl. They wanted a girl's girl. And there was a moment where I was questioning. I was like, is my New York accent New York enough? <laughs> I was like, mom, I had to call my mom on the phone. I was like, talk to me for 10 minutes. <laughs> and then it came back right away. Sure, sure. You didn't have to make a side trip to Brooklyn or New York, whatever, to get back the accent you had. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask you about working with JLo. Tell us a little bit about it. She was freaking awesome. I can't say enough about her. Um, what she did that I thought was so cool and you never get this on sets is she allowed us to be really free with the script. Uh, we improvised a lot. We worked together as a team, her and Dave. What I also thought was really, really cool is that we had a lot of discussions beforehand about what's going on, about what our thoughts were, um, what let's try this out. Let's try that. We had so much fun. I mean, she sat with us, girl. I was like, you don't have to sit. She literally mm -hmm. sat and chilled with us. She was so cool. And um, ever since then, I, I can't complain. I mean, she walked in the room with her fur coat. I mean, and everybody knew. Oh, snap, she was Jayla. I was, like, I was like, don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. <laughs> literally. I was like, am I swallowing? I don't know if I'm breathing. Am I breathing? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, this is such a special film. <laughs> what were, if you can tease maybe some of your most memorable moments from filming or even scenes that you're the proudest of. Um, I would have to say it was so fun, the wedding scene. Oh my God. And I think that's the one that she's released um, with uh, Can't Get Enough. That yeah. was, I mean, it's raining like cats and dogs, but whatever. Because I was just like in awe of the whole thing. And um, we had such a freaking blast. We were improv -ing. I mean, at one point I was crying because how beautiful it was in the middle of the, the <laughs> uh, music video. Um, the part, I mean, it was literally a party. And just to watch all these dancers, I'm like, I could never. I was like, oh my God, they were just killing it. It was like I was paying for a concert. <laughs> right? <laughs> you weren't even paying for it she was giving it to you <laughs> yeah she was paying me to watch a concert <laughs> <sighs> my goodness do you have any maybe behind the scenes pictures that you're able to tease out of course once the movie releases yes definitely we definitely 
it was five actors, right? And we have literally become the best of friends and we cannot be any more different. Like we were just talking about it the other day and I was like, oh my God, she casted us and that's who we are. <laughs> like all my friends are those characters and it's so funny. And like we make it a point, we're in a group chat together. Um, it's called Jen's Friends, but she's like not in the chat. <laughs> it's just the five friends. And we, I mean, as much as we can, we get together and hang out and we have some definite BTS behind the scenes stuff. Of course, we'll let it out um, as, as this premieres and it's going to be really exciting. How do you plan to celebrate the release? So on Friday comes out, I believe, right? That's the 16th. Yep. In my two so I'm just gonna get a bunch of friends together. I'll probably put uh, a piece of paper from my printer that says Danielle's premiere <laughs> on the door <laughs> and just have all the people that love me so much come over and watch it with me. Um I also have a son that's in in an actor as well, and he's coming out in Griselda, so he'll be with me watching. Sometimes he gets a little upset, and I'll explain to you why. One okay. I, last year I was on uh, NCIS and I was playing someone who was in the military. So I'm watching the show with him. And he goes, you played army without me. And he like got up and walked away. <laughs> so he really <laughs> feels like I'm in it. And that like, he didn't, like, he's definitely going to be like, how come I wasn't invited to this party that you were clearly at and I couldn't go. And it'll probably storm away for three minutes and come back. Oh, and like, sweet oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> sweet baby <laughs> tell him so he sweet. got to hang out with Sofia Vergara without you so it's only fair right he did his <laughs> first red carpet and I was literally shaking in my boots I was so nervous because I'm like oh my god he's gonna go and there's all these photographers what if he gets scared what's gonna he I was like mom I was like papa just put your hand in your pocket just look at the guy he's like mom mom I got this. I was like, okay. Okay. He goes up there and he starts doing this thumbs up thing. And that's it. The whole time he's just giving everybody thumbs up. I'm like, we're good to go. <laughs> All right. The boy is well trained. <laughs> he is. He's definitely going places. <laughs> what is it you think that fans will really enjoy about This Is Me Now? Is it the music? Is it the magic of JLo and the love that she really brings to the screen? Is it this timeless romance that came back around in her life is it all of the above <laughs> all of the above and I really love how she's kind of I mean she's been through it you know what I mean especially coming being the one and only or the first for many many things in her career I feel like this is a great moment for her to kind of poke fun of all those naysayers and kind of give her side of the story and make it light and make it a beautiful message where it's like listen, don't ever give up on whatever your dream is. If it's love, if it's career, it's never too late and just keep trying. And that's what life's about. So, so it's, it's going to make you cry. It's going to make you laugh. It's going to make you get up and dance because the music is awesome and fantastic and blew me away with the choreography. I'm like, oh my God, there's like no, I was on the sidelines like, I can't believe I'm watching this. I'm so watching I think her at the end. Yeah, I'm watching her on SNL the other night. I'm like, Jesus, I, I'm 44 years old and there is no way my body is doing any of that. <laughs> oh, there's no way. Me either. I mean, if I walk, I was just in Nashville and I walked a little too much. I feel like I pulled something. <laughs> like my leg. <laughs> so I called my cousin earlier. I'm like, I think I pulled something on my leg. She's like, Danielle, you were walking. I'm like, right, I don't know. It's just you're a grown up now. <laughs> I'm, I'm officially a grown up. <laughs> What's next for you, Danielle, besides maybe some physical therapy? <laughs> that. Um, I definitely think riding this wave, girl. I'm gonna walk right into the wheels fall off. Uh auditioning. Um, I have a uh, I just did an indie film where I was able to lead, so I'm very excited about that for it to come out. It's a rom com. Um, I can't talk about it much yet, but that I also really want to push the envelope as an actor for myself and also for any, you know, Latina women coming behind me. So I'm dying to get into a period piece. I mean, I worked with Shonda Rhimes once. I want to work with her again. I want to get on Bridgerton. I'm working on my English accent. <laughs> I want to be in an action movie. Marvel, call me. I don't know what's going on. I'll take it all. Anything is possible, right? <laughs> exactly. 
What would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the incredible work you do on our screens? I think the biggest message for me, I would say um, that it's never too late. If I can do it, you can do it, I promise. Because I've had so many obstacles, so many things hold me back, and I just keep pushing forward. And if you keep working at it, it has to come to pass. That's it. That's like literally the formula. It's not about if you give up, it will never, right? Sure. If you want to do anything, just do it scared. I do it scared every single day. I was a little nervous before I got in this interview, but just mm -hmm. do it, you know, and you'll get there. So that that's my biggest message for anybody trying to get into this industry or whatever they want to do in life.